So the dry bulb in my office is 71.6 degrees. It's just the temperature of the air. It is independent of the humidity or the moisture in the air. And this is your classic dry bulb thermometer. This is where I'll show you where the term dry bulb comes from. If you look at the back here, you can see there's a thermometer that runs up this whole thing. Like if I was going to break it out of the casing, it would just be this. But anyway, the bottom of it has a bulb on it. Okay. And we get the phrase dry bulb because it's dry. Okay. There's no, there's nothing on there. So it's measuring the actual temperature in the air. It doesn't care if it's 100% RH in here or 10% RH. It's just measuring what we call the sensible heat of the space. Okay. So that's dry bulb. Very easy to understand. So what is wet bulb? So wet bulb, and you could Google something called a sling psychrometer. And bulb is when you take a wet piece of fabric and you put it on the bulb with thermometer and you take the thermometer and you swing it around. So what happens when you have a wet wick here is the water wants to evaporate. Okay. And when the water evaporates from this, there's this means evaporation, by the way. So when the water evaporates from the wick, it, pro it produces a cooling effect and it lowers the temperature. So the dry bulb, the wet bulb temperature is always lower than the dry bulb temperature. You could imagine the drier the air, the more water is going to diffuse or evaporate off of the bulb and the more cooling you're going to get. So the lower the wet bulb, you know, the colder the wet bulb, the dry is, is significant of drier air. So if I go back to our device here, it's 73.2 in this office, 55% RH, it's very nice. And the wet bulb is 64. Okay, so you can see the wet bulb is, you know, unless you're at 100% saturation, it should be less than the, the dry bulb. Okay. <laughs>